Okay, we're back in the 1961 Hillman Minx Series 3 station wagon and we're just about to go for a short drive uh, down towards Port Chalmers here in Dunedin, New Zealand. Um, nice and easy to start. Uh, it's one click to the right and you can see all the gauges come to life and then uh, that's it, it's underway. Handbrake is down to your right and uh, obviously <laughs> you have to release that before you go anywhere. The Hellman Minx is um, not a bad little car because you can either start it in first or second depend on the kind of gradient that you're on so I've chosen second here indicator on and we're off for a bit of a drive so hopefully you'll enjoy this and we're away. All 1500 cc's of pure muscle um, but it's a great little car it's um, it just handles so well. Keeps up with modern traffic reasonably well and uh, great for those uh, short trips, um, coffee runs, all, all that sort of stuff, car club, but it's been on a, um, a run with a local car club that I'm a member of and uh, effortless. We're in top gear already, doing 35 mile an hour or thereabouts and um, it's so easy to drive. Just made to choose a route where uh, there's expected traffic delays, but we'll see how we go. This car terribly long, but at uh, six foot two and 125 kilos, I'm probably just a little bit big for it. And uh, <laughs> my fault, not the car's fault. But uh, plenty of headroom, uh, even for a taller guy. But uh, I don't find the leg room to be quite there. Um, very versatile little car. It uh, is a station wagon, of course. It's uh, not the biggest station wagon you've ever had, but uh, when you fall down the back seat. There's a reasonable amount of room there. Horn works. No one to hear me, so it's a safe place to do it. <laughs> In fact, everything works on this car. It's really good. Reasonably scenic coming down this side of the harbour, uh, heading towards Port Chalmers, as I said. Very dodgy area of town, you've got to be very, very careful of the people down there. <laughs> Perhaps not. But um, the actual drive itself is quite nice. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to Dunedin, but it's uh, a harbour city and uh, we have two nice harbour drives, one on each side. much to do once you've sort of got the car going. It doesn't require a lot in the way of gear changes or anything. It's quite heavy trundling along in top gear most of the time, third occasionally, you know. And it handles hills reasonably well considering it's um, lack of power. In fact it's probably no worse than the 2016 Fiat that I have to drive on a daily basis. Uh, Fiat Ponto. Um, it's, it's not a great car, the Fiat. Um, and I think this one's every bit as good, generally. So, okay, the Fiat accelerates a bit faster, but um, yeah, I think this is really good for the size of it. Roads a little bit up and down, and we're off to our right. Designed to hang down when the tailgate is open. And 
so perfectly understandable on that basis. We'll get to uh, an area where I'll be able to accelerate just a little bit more shortly and uh, we'll see how it goes just a little bit quicker. It's a lovely colour this car, I love the two-tone pale blue and the white, I think it's a really nice combination. Perfect colour choice. It's had a lower number of owners this car and you can tell just by the condition it's in. Yes, it does have the odd little speck of potential uh, rust issue, but uh, there's certainly nothing major going on and it's been well loved by its uh, previous owners. So I can start to speed up a little bit now, so I can do that. quite happy to go that uh, little bit extra when you ask it to and it actually handles the road really really well there's no wonder in the steering or anything like that and uh, definitely a car I'd recommend. Uh, Roots Group seem to have a very strong following it's actually quite hard to find a, a car for sale and the people who've got them tend to hang on to them and uh, they're certainly made with quality it's an excellent well built car it has, it has some beautiful little solid pieces to it. Like I really love the tailgate for instance, um, just the way that it opens and how solid it is. It's uh, certainly a piece of craftsmanship. Anyway, I think that will do us. You've got a bit of an idea of what a, um, a Hillman Minx, not to be confused with Super Minx, but a Hillman Minx 1961 is capable of and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much.